Through the remainder of 1939 and into the early part of 1940, the people here went back to a near normal living, thinking that there was not going to be a war at all. Almost immediately after the declaration of war, country people, and especially farmers, began to notice their living standards improve. The depression years of the 1930s had meant high unemployment, low wages, and low prices for produce. Now all this was changing. Output of dairy products, pigs, poultry, cattle, vegetables and potatoes had almost doubled, and farmers were at last getting a fair price and a good market for their goods. The faithful horse was soon going to be replaced by tractors, for in short, the war completely modernised the agricultural industry of Northern Ireland. For other workers too, there was a marked increase in employment. In the Garva area, a nerdrome was being built at Ahadui, with plenty of work and good wages. It was over a year after war had been declared that civilians began to suffer the awful consequences of German bombers. For on Saturday the 7th of September 1940, just as darkness was falling, waves of German bomber planes attacked London, killing hundreds of people and leaving thousands homeless. The city of Coventry was almost destroyed a few weeks later, and in April 1941 it was the turn of Belfast to experience the wrath of the German Luftwaffe. As the war dragged on, civilians knew that they too had a vital part to play in the struggle. In the fields, farmers were now being urged to plough up and plant every spare acre of ground. There would be quick and ready market for the oats produced from this cornfield. But in 1941, income tax had been increased to 50%. Also for the few people who had spare money, there was very little to buy in the shops. As well as petrol being rationed at the start of the war, meat, bacon, eggs, sugar and tea were soon to follow. Not only food, but all life's other luxuries which today we take for granted, like cigarettes, beer, spirits, lipstick and makeup, were scarce or unobtainable. In the cities, everyone went a little hungry during the war, but nobody starved. In the country, people were slightly better off. We didn't know that much about food shortage in the Glen. All right, we had ration books and uh, we had to leave them on Garva here with the shops and get were two ounces of butter and two ounces of tea and uh, half a pound of sugar or something like that there. But we knew nothing about uh, hunger or hardship like the people in the cities or big towns did. Because up in the Glen, Every house there was plenty of uh, potatoes and cabbage and turnips and uh, if there was a, somebody coming or if there was a bit of a hunger on or something like that, your mother thought little of going out into the yard and reaching for a, a big Rhode Island red hen or rooster and pulling its neck and putting it in a pot. And as well as that there was always rabbits. Rabbits were a very, very good source of, of food and there was no maximatosis at that time and everybody would have enjoyed a bit of a rabbit. The other time there was hares as well. And then there was another thing that we did uh, was caught an odd salmon up in the Agivy. And we never regarded ourselves as poachers. We weren't poachers. We only took maybe a couple of salmon and used them. And it wasn't unusual to go into a house and the old crane at that time with all the links and the hooks and the pots hanging on it. Uh, you'd have saw maybe a couple of white cloths hanging on the crane and a wee glance underneath you saw maybe a couple of salmon hanging. Well we didn't know very much how to cook salmon as they do in this present day and age but we knew enough to just to lift her down and a couple of two or three slices of it. Nowadays they're called steaks, but we just cut two or three slices and put them in the pan. And at that time the pan never was washed because there's always about an inch of lard, or half an inch anyway, of lard in the pan. And when the pan cooled down the lard come back to what it 
what it was, lard. And uh, lots of houses, it, was it wasn't uncommon for the, when the pan was went for, you could have seen the track of the mice's feet running through it. But nobody ever thought much about it. There was Hygiene wasn't up to the present day standard, but there was very little sickness or anything, and the salmon tasted just the same. <laughs>